So you wanna start heat printing custom graphic tees for your customers, but you're not really sure how to get unique designs to be able to print onto these custom tees. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really popular design that you can create in our free online artwork software known as cadworkslive.com. We're also gonna be doing a mixed media application where we're pairing two different heat transfer vinyls together to take this design to the next level. We're gonna be using CadCut Ultraweed in rose gold and CadCut Premium Plus in one of its limited edition colors known as pale blue. But first, let's start at CadWorks Live. Repeating text or stacked text designs, such as what you're seeing on the screen now, is a really popular option for printing graphic tees and taking basic text options to the next level. We're seeing this type of design a lot across multiple retail brands, and it's very easy to recreate for some of the custom tees that you're making for your customers, whether that be for an apparel brand or other markets such as spirit wear and um, sports, local business, things like that. So um, this is a really simple way to just kind of take designs to the next level. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in and show you how to create the design that you're seeing here on the screen. All right, so as you can see, um, we have our design representing exactly what it's gonna look like once it's heat printed, but we're gonna go ahead and start from scratch so that you can see exactly how this artwork was created. All right, so I'm just gonna take that up to the corner there just so that I can reference back to this. And the first step is to add text. So up in the top left-hand corner, you will see an add text option and it's going to bring up different text, font, size, what color you're filling that in with, uh, et cetera, character spacing, text direction. And this is really just helping you uh, gauge exactly what you want the design to look like. So first, we're going to start by adding in our text, which is out of office in all caps. Next, we wanna select our font. While Arial um, is a pretty basic font and actually a very popular block text option uh, when it comes to printing this basic um, type of style text, uh, this is a little bit of a thin Arial font. So I would like to uh, increase the thickness of this. So I'm going to select a different font type that's a little bit thicker under my basic category and it's going to be plain block, right? So you can see uh, that we're still utilizing that basic font type. Uh, we're just making it a little bit thicker so it's easier to read once it's on the graphic tee, right? Once I'm good with that, I'm gonna select okay. And at this point, it's just a lot of duplicating. So depending on how much uh, you want to put on the t-shirt, um, that's how much you're going to repeat. But I always make sure whenever I'm uh, deciding that I always go with an odd number so that I can allow a single line to offset the other ones, right? So this is a popular effect in the repeating text um, to either change the color out or um, make it bold if you don't want to change the color, anything like that. So at this point, I'm going to just repeating, I'm just going to be repeating this a few different times so that we have five total lines of the out of office. Right now I wanna make sure that all of this is centered. So I'm going to go to align and select center. And then I'm going to group the top two lines and the bottom two lines. So I'm just dragging and dropping to select both of those and then going to sh shaping and selecting condense. Condense is gonna group both of those together so that I can work with those all at once. All right now I'm going to group both sets of that 
and select condense once more. All right, so now I have the top two lines and the bottom two lines grouped together. Now I wanna add an effect to them. So I'm gonna be creating that gap contour. And one thing that I love about CatWorks Live is that it has the um, option to just add that combined contour effect so that we have that automatically generating for us, takes out a lot of the additional leg work that it could typically take in a different type of um, artwork program. So we're just clicking and selecting that contour option. If we like what we see, we can select OK. I am going to change the color of this fill um, to our dusty rose, which is representing the rose gold ultra weed that we'll be using at the heat press. We'll select OK. And then what I like to do with the center piece, and before I edit this, what I'm going to do is right click on my um, rose gold out of office text and select two back so that when I go to select this, it doesn't um, get in the way of me working with this. So what I like to do with the center text is just drag and drop it out and size it up a little bit um, so that it is kind of standing out. Um, it's just kind of offsetting that, making it um, in addition to having that different color that allows it to really pop out this is just adding that additional effect. So when I do that, I, mean, I am going to go back to my alignment tool and select center just to make sure everything's still center. And then I will change it to my powder blue, which is going to represent the pale blue premium plus that will be heat applying out of this piece of the design. And there you have it. That is our repeating or stacked text uh, graphic design, very simply done in CADWorks Live. Uh, and that's the beauty of working with this program. Things are super simple uh, to utilize here. Now let's head to the heat press and show you how you can pair these two products together to use different popular colors from different lines of heat transfer vinyl. Using the A to Z heat press, I'm gonna swing away my upper heating element and thread on my garment. We are working with a blend racerback muscle tank by Bella Canvas. Before I place my transfer, I'm just gonna heat up my garment. That's gonna release any moisture or wrinkles in the fabric so that I have a nice application. I always start with the largest part of my design. So in this case, we're gonna be using the CAD Cut Ultra Weed in the color rose gold. I'm just gonna place that down. And before I lock down my heat press, I'm going to cover with a cover sheet and we're just gonna tack this for a few seconds. Ultra weed is a hot peel, so I can go ahead and remove that carrier. I always go nice and slow, especially when I'm working with a hot pill product that I'm going to be layering or doing a two color with where my registration is a little tight. And it looks like the edge of that didn't heat apply because it's a little close to this fabric where it's overlapping, which is causing a little bit of uneven pressure. So what I'm gonna do is roll out that fabric that is doubled up there. That's causing that that edge not to heat apply. And whenever I place in my CAD Cut Premium Plus, I'm gonna do another tack. This is just a best practice for working with two different medias, especially if you are laying 
a color of heat transfer vinyl on top of another. This Mylar Carrier can actually create a score mark in the first product that has already been heat applied. So we can avoid that score mark from happening um, by just tacking that second color or that second media. Now I did mention to you that this part did not heat apply accurately because of the uneven pressure from where this fabric is rolled over on itself. Whenever I tack this, this is actually going to help to reapply that adhesive for me with a flat, even pressure. And to make sure that I get a good pressure, especially up close to that seam, I'm just going to increase my pressure a tad. And that will help reapply that adhesive in that corner. Now, again, as I mentioned, we are just doing the tacking method for this round as well, because we don't want that Mylar carrier that the CAD Cut Premium Plus is laminated to, to create any type of score mark. So we're just tacking that for a few seconds, and then we can go ahead and remove that carrier. Now, Premium Plus has a very high stretch to it. So for this, I actually am gonna go even slower than I did with the Ultra Weed. We don't wanna risk distorting the product uh, because Premium Plus does have a high stretchability to it. Um, so if I just rip this carrier right away, it's going to cause it to distort. So I'm going nice and slow so that we can avoid that from happening. All right, so so far, we have two applications where we've tacked each product. We've got our pressure where it needs to be for um, an all over even application. Now we're going to cure both of these for the full application. And now our two color mixed media application using CAD Cut Ultra Weed and CAD Cut Premium Plus is complete. This really just scratches the surface of all that is capable within that free online artwork program, cadworkslive.com. For more information on the products used to create this custom graphic tee, visit the links in the description. And to get started with this online artwork program, just visit cadworkslive.com.